Hello, and welcome to Amanda Stepbacks Spells Edition. We are going to do a spell out of this book that I love so much. It is the Wicca Spellbook Starter Kit. It includes candles, crystals, and herbs. And this edition, we are going to do one that includes candles. They are white candles because we've been doing some talking about healing. And healing comes in many different forms. It is needed by almost everyone in many different ways. And this is a very simple spell that you can do at home. All you need is nine white tea lights or votive candles. I have tea lights and ambient music, which is optional as a Pisces and a uh, total weirdo. Music has a special effect on me. I feel that the right music at the right time can do for me what the right shoes did for Cinderella. It works both ways. If the wrong song comes on at the wrong time, I can cry. I have one song that if it comes on anywhere around me, I have to leave. It's so far worked out in my favor. I've never been in a situation where I'm in like an interview or I can't leave and this song comes on and I'm stuck there. But thankfully, that's neither here nor there. So, this uh, white light healing spell that we're going to do is very simple, very quick, very fun. Um, how it is introduced is, while modern medicine has indeed made unprecedented progress in helping us heal from severe accidents and illnesses of all sorts, today's doctors are still largely unaware of the powers of the mind-body connection when it comes to our own ability to heal ourselves. This spell is not meant to replace needed medical care, but it can work wonders in helping the body restore itself to its natural state of well-being. And there's also the placebo effect. I mean, if you think it's gonna work, maybe it's gonna work. So what do you got to lose? You just light some candles and it's, it's gonna be awesome. Um, now I lost my place. Uh, whether you're dealing with a minor injury or illness or a serious medical condition, try working with healing white light in conjunction with your own current treatment. Never underestimate the power of your own personal energy to improve your health. That's also why I am wearing this white jacket. I have never worn it out and I kind of feel like a badass in it. And it's white, color of healing, and innocence, so I figured, let's give it a go. And uh, what you need is nine white tea light candles or votive candles, which I have, and ambient music. Um, I don't own anything, personally. I am listening to Anthony Hopkins, composer. I really uh, was torn between listening to this and some Eminem because I'm a huge fan, and what can I say? He does it for me. Um, but then I also have with me, for just to give it a little something extra, I have, and I'll show you, this crystal grid here that is um, it's really just a uh, piece of paper that has been printed beautifully it came in a kit that I got, I believe, from um, Ross for $6. And it had nine crystals, a bunch of them clear quartz, um, a couple of them rose quartz, an amethyst, uh, two amazonite, which I might be saying wrong, uh, a 24-page instruction booklet, and four of these crystal grids because there's one on this side this one is my favorite because it looks like space um, this one and then there are two others 
um, one other sheet and a 24 page booklet that teaches you a lot of fun stuff about crystals, what they can do, and crystal grids, which I did not know were a thing until I found this set. And I need to do a lot more research on crystal grids before I kind of show them to you, but I'm going to just place this here and I'm going to place my crystals on it. It kind of gives me a place to set them and then the book says that you can also use a magic wand, which I have, because I made, and I don't have specific words or things involved in this, but I'm gonna just kinda wave it, and I'm gonna think positive thoughts, and I feel like it's really going to help. And then we'll put that back. And now we're gonna get back at the task at hand, which will be just lighting these nine candles and I will try to do that in fast motion for you um, because uh, the instructions say step one turn on the music which I have already done and then sit on the floor or in a chair in the center of the room place the candles around you in a circle and then take several deep breaths focusing on each inhale and exhale to quiet your mind and Focus your attention on your body. Okay. And then we're going to light the candles. Um, it, it says to begin in the cardinal direction of east and move in a clockwise direction. And then once all nine candles are lit, Sit back in the middle of your circle, close your eyes, and focus your attention back on your breath for three counts. Okay, and then it also says to visualize a white light beginning in your heart center and gently spreading throughout your entire body. See the light pulsing into each area of your body one at a time, your core, your legs and feet, shoulders, arms, hands, throat, and the crown of your head. Now, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves because that is all going to take at least a moment or two for me to do. I just need to find a way to mark my book so I don't lose this page. Yes. So, all right. Perfect. I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, but how would you know, east is that direction, and I'm going in a clockwise motion, so I'm going to start here, and I know you can't see where here is, but I will show you. Hmm. All right. That was one. This is two. This is number three. Number four, I have tucked back by the black light. And if you're wondering, you can get tea lights. Just about anywhere. The grocery store, the internet, they all have tea lights. They're good to keep in the kitchen in case you want to do fondue. That is number five. They're behind me. Please be okay, roses. I won't need that for any more. Number six. Seven. 
Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and nine. So I've made a circle around myself. close my eyes and focus my attention back to my breath for three counts and then I'm going to visualize a white light it's going through my body and all over and then you're gonna focus the white light on the area of your body that you're working to heal it says to do this for at least 15 minutes and then gently extinguish all of the candles. I'm of course going to do the 15 minutes in fast motion for you guys because I'm sure you don't want to sit here for 15 minutes and watch me just sit here with my eyes closed. 
Um, but I hope that you feel what I feel in those few minutes that were moved quickly. And then we're going to extinguish all of the candles, which if you've seen my other videos, you're probably thinking, yeah, she's not going to do that because she doesn't like to extinguish candles on video. But I feel that because I didn't sit for the whole 15 minutes quietly meditating, I am going to extinguish the candles for you. But I'm going to start with the one in the front and I'm going to use my extinguisher. Because these are brand new two lights. Aha! And I feel like they want to burn me. more. Hooray. I once read that blowing out candles is bad luck. I'm not sure if it's different when you are making a birthday wish. Maybe that's what makes a birthday wish and blowing out the candles special. So I usually use this little angel extinguisher, but uh, my motorcycle jacket has got me feeling like badass and I wanted to shoot them out with my fingers. And at first I thought that was not going to happen because they're new tea lights and I did it about three times and I thought my fingers were going to start on fire, but they didn't. I put out all nine. So, I hope you enjoyed our spell for the evening, and that you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe.